Bailey Ober got the start for the Minnesota Twins tonight, and he stepped up. Man, did he step up, delivering six shutout innings from Bailey Ober. Um, unfortunately, uh, his teammates did not provide him I- literally any run support in this one. When he left, it was 0-0. Zero, zero. So Bailey Ober pitched six innings against six shutout innings. Only 78 pitches after six innings, so it was pretty controversial of Rocco Baldelli to have pulled him out at that point. You see the three strikeouts. wasn't really dominating, wasn't missing a lot of bats. Luckily, Jorge Polanco in the bottom of the seventh, you know, the bullpen holds. Polanco delivers this run-scoring double. Jorge Polanco, man, I really think this is the straw that stirs the drink for this team. Um, love, love, love Jorge Polanco and what he brings to the table. And then at a certain point, Rocco just turned it over to Duran, which I just loved. He got the final five outs of this ball game. Uh, as he saw there from Pitching Ninja, was hitting 105 if we're going to round up. Um, just a cheat code. This guy, I, I hope it never gets lost on us how insane it is. You go looking over at Baseball Savant, topping out at 104.6, technically, if we're not rounding up. 1.6 miles per hour, harder than his average, which is obviously hard as hell as it is. And then, of course, you know, his curveball is great, his splinker is great. Uh, so the bullpen, as you see, really stepped up. You know, it was kind of a high wire eye act there for at a couple moments. Duran gets the final five outs. Only needs 26 pitches to do so. Probably not going to be available tomorrow, but uh, certainly in play for Sunday. So it's not like you completely burned Duran for, you know, multiple days off of that. He's just so efficient sometimes. And then here's the lineup again. You know, not much going. Uh, six hits, three walks. Uh, Polanco, Kirilov, and Jeffers had the only extra base hits, all doubles. But again, that Polanco double, that's all they needed in this one uh, because the pitching staff did great. So great to see uh, them put things together and deliver and overcome in a, in a tight game, a one to nothing ball game. And, you know, it's still pretty early to be scoreboard watching. I know we're into June, but five and a half games over Cleveland right now, that feels really good. I know Detroit's in second place still, but just the fact the Twins have a five and a half game cushion over Cleveland, who you know, we were all kind of expecting to be neck and neck. Uh, and they're the defending div- division champs too. So, anyway, moving over to St. Paul, I think the one guy that really stands up we want to keep an eye on is Matt Walner. Unfortunately, he went 0 for 3 with a strikeout as the DH. So, moving on to Cedar Rapids, uh, we'll take a look at some of the more stats and some of the numbers here in just a moment. But this is Kali Rosario. I want to show him hitting a first inning two run home run here. Just blistered this ball. Uh, this guy's going off right now. He had a massive May. And he has a 921 OPS on the season despite a very slow start to the year for Cedar Rapids. Uh, big, powerful guy, young guy, fifth-round pick out of high school in 2020. That's Kali Rosario. Marco Raya. Marco Raya, they're being very careful with him, but, man, is he impressing as well. Only threw three innings once again tonight, but four strikeouts, no walks, gave up one run. He now has a 2.61 ERA and a 0.73 whip. On the year, Marco Raya, a 0.73 whip for Marco Raya on the year. Very impressive, and we're taking a look at his four strikeouts on the evening. Again, uh, we're looking forward to whenever they're going to start to kind of tack on some more of a load for him, but he's still very young. So here's a ta- uh, look at the minor league starting pitchers from this evening. Um, as you see there, I have an asterisk next to Travis Adams. Unfortunately, that game was delayed, so it kind of got the ball taken away from him there. Uh, so, and then Corey Lewis kind of hit a pitch count thing, got off to a horrible start, only recorded two outs, bunch of walks, and just that was the night for him. So disappointing to see that, but moving on over to the hitters, Kyle Garlick hit his seventh home run of the year for St. Paul, so good to see him down there. You know, the Twins may need to call upon him once again. Rosario, we took a look at. Jorel Ortega actually had a good couple games. That was a double header for the Mighty Muscles. Um, and here are the results. Again, once again, the wind surge game was in progress at the time of recording because they had a pretty lengthy rain delay, so I don't have the results on that one. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to the channel members uh, for supporting this. And here are the premium members. We'll talk again soon.